Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Downfall. It has been a, it has been a quite, it's been quite a trip since the last time. As you know, in the last episode, we recapped everything that happened. So thank you to everybody who's been watching that episode. Got a lot of views on that one, and hopefully that brought some new people in. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh. It is a punishing 82 degrees outside and like freaking 100 in my room and I am sweating my ass off, but I don't care because I want to make sure that I get some stuff out to you guys before the day is over and I have a screaming bird in the background too. One second, please. Alright. I apologize for the sniffles because apparently my allergies are acting up as well, but you know what? I've been talking for way too much. Let's go ahead and get this party started. See, you know what? All these... Uh, nope, nope. <laughs> See what all these rooms are, except for the one that reads 666. Where do I want to go first? Room four. Oh, nope! Son of a bitch. Open. Can I go in? Oh. Can I go into that sideways door? Or one of the... I just want to know how the bent doors open. Please tell me how that happens. Please show me how that happens. Examine. The man address seems to be the only staff member here. Enter. Okay. Oh, that looks normal. That's... A, a lamb? And, uh, I, I don't know what that is. A bald person with horns covering their eyes and showing off. The, I don't want to know what that thing is between the legs. Alright, anyways, let's look at the news. No, alright, so we're just... Nope, okay. We don't care what that is. That's alright. I don't care what it is. I'm just gonna keep walking. Yep, bye. Alright, well, let's just go this way, then. Now, I understand why those doors open. Because of gravity. And because they're not bent. Enter. Locked shut. Great. The caught it all. Go to. Okay. Ooh. Found between the floors. I got achievement for moving. 401. This looks like a winner. And by a winner, I mean a terrifying room that is just nothing but. Oh, uh, Jesus. Okay. Oh. No. No, I don't... How? How? I'm on the fourth floor! This doesn't make any sense! Ugh. I guess this, was, this is what it means by found between the floors? Um... No way. Do you know what this is? I... I yes. Tell me? It's a house, Joe. Thanks, Not Agnes. Not just any house, you smartass. My wife and me. We used to dream that one day we'd get a place outside the city. Well, we finally got it. Every detail. A two-story white house with red flowers at the front. She always liked red flowers. And I would drive a red Cadillac. My dad had one back in the States. Like that thing over there by the shed? Oh shit, my dream car? Somebody get me a present? What is it, what is it, what is it? That, 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 that... Okay, now I see it. Yes. Exactly like this. God damn it. Why did we fuck it all up? Uh, oh, I'm moving now. Okay. Um, I, I want to go back this way. I want to look at the house. I want to go in. And Agnes is just going to take her sweet ass time back there. Okay, so I can go in the house, but maybe I want to go this way first. No, I don't know. Why you got to give me choices? I don't like choices. Steer me in one direction. I want linearity. Alright, apparently I do get linearity. Alright, back to the front door. <sighs> Agnes and her bouncy dress just moving on along. Come on, girl, don't be afraid. Yeah, this is exactly the house that I dreamed of. <sighs> Even if it was working, I wouldn't know who to call. Okay, I get it, you have no friends. Kitchen, the hot of so many happy memories that never happened. Then how do we know they're happy in the first place? I'm gonna be honest, when I go to the kitchen, it's just a lot of screaming and cursing and burning myself. Enter. Hmm, the fridge. Got anything good? Nope, okay. Well, guess not. Can I at least examine it? When did food become such a problem in our life? Well, the, as they say, the number one rule of a relationship is that 99% of the time you are going to argue about what to eat until one of you dies. Alright, a bin. It's empty. At least we're clean. You know, at least the trash can's clean. The rest of the house, not so much. Uh, it's full of weed. Like, like marijuana? I don't approve, Joe. But 
Hey, just... what's that? Nothing. This? That's... Mm. Do you, you want a party? <laughs> it's just a jar full of... I'll just be truthful. It's weed. Weed? Like cannabis? Yep. Yep. There's a lot of it in there. Yep. Got to oh, stock up. Oh, it stinks. Yep. Do you <laughs> smoke this stuff, Joe? Nah. Nope. But I'll take some with me. <laughs> just in case. Yeah, I never would know when your last day on Earth could be. It's always good to have. Okay, well, that's about it. Should I take the rest of the weed and throw it in the bin? But the cops could come knocking at our door at any point in time. And who is that? Kind of looks like uh, Lauren Cohen. Or maybe uh, Tiffany Ambethesen, you know, Kelly Kapowski? I can't tell. <sighs> All right, oh, oh no! No, no, no! No, oh no! I wanna go up the stair! Oh, damn, I can't. Stairs seem to end suddenly like there's nothing at all up there. But there's plenty over here. Oh no! Why? Why? Hi, Sophie. Is this the last incarnation of Sophie? There's almost nothing human about her. But let's talk to her. I doubt I get a reply. Besides, I don't really want to talk to her. I just want to kill her, but how? Can I walk? I can't walk past her. Oh my god, you hideous human being. Why? I gotta go. Alright, no, we're leaving. Let's get the hell out of here, Agnes. What the fuck? What do I have to give? Can I give her weed? I forget what this is all about. Oh, that's right. I gotta go back to the function, so I have to escape some... Oh, Jesus. Alright, well, can we go back this way? At least I know where to find her now. Oops, sorry. Oh my god! Oh, that scared me way more than it should have. Alright, you know, back inside. Does that make sense? Great. Yeah, let's just have the music completely stop. Why does this look different? Piano, examine. It's blocking access to the lift. Maybe Agnes can help me push it out of the way. Please! You look strong! Give me a hand, Agnes. Hey, good job. She got some muscles, though. All right, well, for now... Jesus. Um... I feel like there's something I have to do at the ground floor. I have an idea. So let's go ahead and go down there, because I think that's where I need to go. Do the basement. Because that's always a safe place to go. All right. This is the way to the basement, right? You know where I found- Ooh, can I show Agnes the brain in which I extracted for her? Was that English? I don't care! Um, uh, apparently- Oh, no, wait, I'm going the wrong way. What am I thinking? This is just where the pig is, but can I- Poor piggy. No. Don't start feeling sorry for it. It was born to die. Pigs are really intelligent, you know. Their brains are very similar to ours. A pig is a pig. That's all it is. So, so is that all? Can I do anything else to it? Nope. <laughs> Alright. That's cool, though. If you revisit places with Agnes, that she'll, like, talk to it. Cooking pot. Turn on the hob. There's nothing in the pot. I would just burn it. Or I could put some pot in there. No, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to do the marijuana. Alright, so this is the way I want to go. Then I want to go here. Hey, look, it's kind of bright right now. It's not too scary. Nope, it still is. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. Okay, go. Oh. <sighs> Alright, and cool. I've switched it on. Yay, okay. Now that the switch is on, now we must attend the party. Slowly but surely. Alright. Really wish that you could run in this game, not gonna lie. But at the same time, I understand a certain sense of, you know, uh, tension to move slowly. 
Let's see, it's an invitation to the party taking place in function room A of Quiet Haven. Alright. What is What is that sound? What what was that sound? Did anybody else hear that? Please tell me you heard that and please tell me what it was. Okay. Now I just have to figure out where function room A is. Sorry, I take a lot of time in between these episodes, so I forget a lot of things. Not to mention, even if I played it the next day, I forget because I am a very forgetful person. Music. Is this where fun? Hey, there it is. Open. You ready, Agnes? We got our best attire on. Let's do this. Ooh. This <laughs> Look at Agnes runs away. She's like, nope. Looks like there's a big party taking place, but where are all the guests? That's a great question. No, oh, no! What? Is this one of them? I think so. It doesn't look like a monster to me. No. But it doesn't mean she hasn't got one hiding inside of her. So, time to talk to her. You, you look good? It's hard to say because of the mask, but she seems pretty upset, you think? Let's talk. Go away. Don't. Don't look at me. Please. But, but, come on, it's a party. Come on, it's a party. Yeah, my 18th birthday party. You're kind of old for 18. Just look at all these people. Where? I will never be like them. You'll, you'll be better. Never. You'll be, you'll be better. Um, you don't have to be like that. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't have to be like them. There's nothing wrong with you. Oh, you're only nice to me because you see it too. Shit. She knows. But what does she know? Do you know what I'm gonna do? I really don't. The only thing I know how to do. The only thing that comforts me. The only thing... That's left. Okay, you're dragging it out. What is it? Uh, what will you do? What will you do? I'll hide somewhere. And I will eat. Like a pig. Like a disgusting, hungry animal. Eat a stupid, fat body explodes and scatters the room. In my bloody dress. Ugh. But uh, why? Harrison, I was a fool thinking you could ever fall in love with someone like me. <laughs> he said... <laughs> he said I'm fat and ugly. <laughs> and that I should go and kill myself. Well, this guy's just a douchebag. That's all. And so I will. Well, can we solve this for you? Fuck Harrison. Damn straight. Also, eating that much. Very ambitious. Doesn't have to be this way. It's your choice. I'm not going to stop you. See, fuck Harrison. Fuck Harrison. You'll find someone better. You even understand love. There will never be anyone like you. Yeah, there will be He's someone better. But without you, I'm nothing. Doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. Maybe. But I've already made up my mind. So please, leave me alone now. I just want to sit here quietly a little longer before I go away. Uh, okay. Okay, so I can still talk to her. But where is I? Oh, there we go. Is that Harrison? What, what's he do? What you doing, Harrison? Should we follow you? 